Hey guys, it's Jake again. And I'm Ollie, again. <laughs> Sorry we haven't done a video for a while. Uh, we've had exams and finally the exam period's finished. So now we can finally get on with doing reviews. And today we're going to be doing Dogs Eating Dogs, which is the latest EP by Blink-182. So released like just before Christmas on December the 18th, it was kind of like a Christmas present to us all. Like their first release since they actually like split up from their um, record label. So we're going to be doing the usual structure of like going through song by song. And like the first song in the EP is uh, When I Was Young, so we're going to start with that. Okay, yeah. Uh, when I Was Young, it's the first song on the EP, obviously. And it's got features from Ava, Plus 44, Boxcar so you know, all the different bands that Tom and Mark have made as well as Travis. And uh, it opens kind of like an Ava kind of harmonic kind of style. Um, which is strange for a Blink uh, EP or, you know, uh, but it, it, it really works because you've got that which builds up the song and then you've got the straight guitar and punkiness of Blink which comes straight into it and then you've got a great song which is, um, well, it's self-explanatory really, it's about being young and about uh, probably uh, Tom, Mark and Travis's experience about being young and uh, enjoying themselves and it's a really nice kind of um, danceable that's a word, <laughs> you can dance to it, a uh, song and it's not nice and relaxing and it's a really good start to the EP I think. And like Jake said, like being more punk and sort of fast paced, that part of that is to do like, un like most Blink songs usually have a riff or something, but this one doesn't, so like from the chorus it goes straight into the next verse which kind of makes it feel more fast paced and like coherent. And uh, I might be going on a limb here, but it might be like a reference to like how life is fast paced and how you grow up really fast. Oh, that's good. English good literature. Current, yeah. <laughs> current interpretation there. And you can definitely feel like the boss car racer style with the indie chorus with the long held notes like, Worst damn day. Kind of like, Oh my life. But it is a really catchy chorus, and we're going to find like quite a few catchy choruses in this mm, EP. Definitely, yeah. Uh, the, the song after when I was young is Dogs Eating Dogs. Which for me personally, out of the five songs that are on the EP, uh, is the weakest. But it's kind of a return to old Blink, if you see what I mean. If uh, I'm sure you've heard the uh, of EP if you're watching this, uh, and if you haven't, um, go onto iTunes and preview it because you'll see what I mean. It's uh, when I say old Blink, I mean it's got elements from previous albums, such as like Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, where they've gone back to what fans uh, or some fans uh, want. And uh, which is more punky style, but at the same time, uh, you can tell they've gone a different direction with it. And I like it, but I think the um, dogs eating dogs, dogs eating dogs for the pre chorus is a bit. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of just repeating words in a chorus. I think they've just kind of just like gone, well, you know, what can we do here? We'll just shove that in and it, put a good riff with it and it sounds alright. So. Yeah, I agree with Jake saying that like, it's the, definitely the weakest song on the album. And it is definitely like more hardcore sort of like do drum styly with like the verses the riff itself is kind of more to me i know it doesn't to jake but to me it feels kind of western style with the tremor like trembled and the, the fact is on like an a minor chord and like playing around with that and then but it's definitely it's gone back to like a catchy chorus but i'm not quite sure about the verse that's more sort of plus 44 kind of yeah, especially with Mark singing. Mm. When, now when Mark sings, I think of Plus 44, and I, I can't help that. <laughs> but it's bridge, like, I found this with, like, with the exception of Boxing Day and Pretty Good Little Girl, the bridges on this album are pretty sort of, like, they haven't really thought about them very much, in my opinion. And they could have been worked on much more than they have been. You can definitely see that in Dogs Eating Dogs. It's not a very strong uh, bridge, and it's just kind of one they've kind of thrown together and gone, you know what, it's... Have that. It, it it works. We haven't got much time. We haven't got a record label anymore. We'll just do that, and hopefully fans will like it. Um, but being critical of the EP, I mean, obviously we like Blink, but that's for some one thing. Ollie, uh, more so than me, has picked up on that. Oh. It's definitely a weak area. But, you know. But then it's followed by my favourite song on the EP, which is Disaster, which is a really great song. It, similar to when I was young, it's got this sort of AVA influence build up before it goes straight into the song again with a disaster a disaster and it's just so catchy I, just, I love the chorus it's so great much chorus. and it's got really sort of deep metaphorical lyrics which is kind of a massive jump up from say like take off your pants and jackets and you can see like the improvement like not improvement but you know like evolve hmm. or evolution evolution of the <laughs> albums I mean obviously it's um, this EP comes on after Neighbourhoods and after this EP they've got an album uh, coming out 
and you can definitely see the direction they're taking because Neighbourhoods was a step in another direction with elements from Ava and Plus 44 because it's the first album they made when they got back together after the hiatus. And a lot of fans thought we really like this, a lot of fans thought, well, we hate it. And some were just like, well, where are you going to go from here? And Dogs Eating Dogs is where they've gone. Uh, a disaster really shows this because it's got elements of what I call New Blink. Um, just simply because it's obviously got elements from Ava, uh, which Ollie's picked up on. And uh, Dogs Eating Dogs has elements from Plus 44. But Disaster, it's really, really interesting because at the beginning of it, you've got this, uh, again, like harmonic opening. But then it goes straight into not punk, but something just catchier and a lot more... There's no genre for it, really. It's just a really, really good song. Yeah, I mean, you can feel different genres in there, like the alternative rock side, the punky more side. And the, you can feel like pop punk in there as well, especially with the um, end of the first chorus with the do no 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 no, which isn't actually all the choruses. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really great song, and I feel like what they've done is they've gone through neighborhoods, and even though it was just a bonus track, um, even if she falls, I think that was one of the most popular songs definitely, on the neighborhoods, and they've kind of picked up on that thing because the songs feel more like that sort of catchy bit more like Hyde feel. Uh, the meaning of the disaster, um, we're not really sure what it means, but it's either to do with either a relationship, but I doubt it because Pretty Little Girl's about a relationship, or about losing someone, about being in a bad situation. I mean, disaster kind of gives the title mm. that kind of um, impression, but there's no real kind of meaning, which is um, you know, a step in the direction of New Blink, like with AV you have double meanings, and with this song you have no ambiguous yeah no real clear meaning um so there's that <laughs> which is quite interesting for disaster but either way it doesn't hold back from the song or anything you know it's still a really really good song it's just a bit ambiguous when it's uh, the taste of the bloodlines especially and things like, like that. well it is metaphorical obviously a lot of it so it probably it has like it can be interpreted in a lot of different ways just like metaphors mean different things hmm. so you know it's up to interpretation like if you're in a really sucky relationship you can probably make it relate to you there it's more relatable to both because in different, it's di in different situations you are going to like relate to different metaphors in different ways. Mm, exactly. So it's pretty good in that so, way. So it's a very general song in that sense. But anyway, uh, on to the next song, which is Boxing Day, which was the first uh, song that was released. I say released, I mean leaked <laughs> from the album in December, and uh, it's the first one we and Ollie heard, and it's one which got our attention actually because it was um, again the style of New Blink, even though it's an acoustic song. Yeah, and being the first acoustic song they've released since uh, What Went Wrong, it's kind of interesting to see the development since, like, What Went Wrong. And uh, it's much more different. I remember <clears throat> on Facebook or something, Tom DeLong released a picture with, like, a, a sh cigar box of style guitar. Mm. And everyone was like, and he was like, what can I focus on? And everyone was like, oh, God. But <laughs> it's not really a folk song. No, but it's, it's a really, really great song. It's really catchy. I mean... The chorus isn't is is definitely one of the least catchiest on the album. I'd say so, yeah. If not the least, I mean, it's still a really great chorus, but it's kind of on the same sort of level of up all night being kind of almost anticlimactic. Mm. Really, and after midnight, sort of, I don't know. I think Mark's much better at verses, I think, than choruses. Definitely, in my de opinion. definitely. But to, regardless from the chorus point of view, uh, the song itself I and mean, the verses are really good. Um, you know, let's get started, Fate and Broken Hearted. And uh, it's a really nice, interesting way they've done the acoustic song. Uh, for me personally, I really enjoy it. But it does a bit sound quite a bit like uh, All Star by Smash Mouth. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I don't know what you're doing there, Tom, stealing ideas from Shrek <laughs> 2 and things like that. But it's for me, it's a really good song. Uh, but not as good as Disaster. Um, for me personally, it's not got that like edge to it. Yeah, but it's still got really, like, in the pre-chorus, really melodic sort of singing, which kind of makes up for it. It's really nice to listen to. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it's almost easy listening Blink, in a way. It is, yeah. It's a song you can put on and you wouldn't realise it's Blink unless you obviously knew the EP very well, very well mm. uh, and Blink themselves very well. It's a very nice, kind of relaxing, chilled out song if you've had a bad day at work or <laughs> at school. Just come home and put that on and it's a nice song to chill out to. Uh, and as regards the meaning for Boxing Day, like, behind it, Ollie, uh, I've heard thinks. it was about the end of Blink-182, like when they broke up, being like, they were going to play a show about, you know, the tsunami that happened the year they broke mm -hmm. up, and that was on Boxing Day, like reference to the title, Yeah. and the fact that they didn't 
say that and the wave of your goodbye. Yeah, it's refl reflected like, in the lyrics as well. So. Yeah, and I, it is like let's get started, like let's get go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is all, it all kind of like faint and broken hearted, broken hearted because you've lost a loved one. So it's um, at first glance, it's a very light hearted, cheerful song. But when you go into it and you think think about what the meanings could be, obviously you know we don't know the meanings officially, but that's yeah, what we yeah. think. It's yeah. a lot darker. So that's another side of New Blink. You've got the um, elements from Ava and everything like that, and elements that they're direct they're going. But you've got this kind of darker mood as well, which um, I don't know. Some fans might like, and some fans might not. So the next song on the EP was Pretty Little Girl, and this starts with a pop punk influence of Styly on guitar with the sort of palm muted before synth keyboard comes in at the top. Ooh. And then I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a really cool song. With the um, my favorite bit of the song is definitely the um, pre-choruses because they're just awesome. They're amazing. And then with a really catchy um, chorus, chorus again as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, for me, uh, like Ollie's favorite song is "Disaster." This is my favorite song. Um, bit ironic because at first it was my least favorite. Oh, I see. But. Uh, because of uh, Yellow Wolf's rap at the end, but we'll get to that. Mm. But overall, I really do like the song uh, because it's just amazing. Uh, the pre-chorus is like Ollie was saying. That part there is amazing because it's a brilliant build-up. Absolutely amazing. Like, like uh, the Up All Night build-up you have. Um, yeah. Pretty much the same to that, but then the chorus is not anticlimactic. It's, 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 you know, it's amazing. Mm. It's what you expect. Um, and I'm not going to sing it to it you. Sounds you, know, like, you know what it sounds like. It sounds like you know, classic Blink, really, doesn't it? It well? does, yeah. It's back to like pre self entitled, like self even if you yeah. go that far. Yeah, which is I mean, like, maybe not in the punk aspect as such, it's not as punky as like yeah, Reckless Abandon is, but, but like, catchy and sort of same sort of light hard. Well, not light hard, but you know, same sort of feel to it. Yeah, that hard. So, Pretty Little Girl, uh, the singing part of it, uh, Tom and Mark, uh, it's, a, it's Tom and Mark, yeah, they do kind of like. They do, they do kind of do this. Back each other. Yeah, up. back each other up in that song. Yeah, because there is a Mac does backing vocals in it, in it. And like Tom's Tom does the lead vocals, yeah. yeah. Um, after that, you've got the rap part of it, which is done by Yellow Wolf, I believe. Yeah, Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf. Cherry Sparker's friend. Cherry Sparker's friend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, okay, it's different. It's not something you expect from a Blink song. You put it on and you think, I like the EP so far, it's really good. You get to this and you're like, what is this? Am I listening to the wrong what? song? Has it, it skipped or something? And it's it's different. That's that's what I can say about it. But it grows on you. I mean, I know Definitely. the lyrics off by heart now. So does Ollie. I know ninety percent of them. Well, ninety percent, yeah, <laughs> ninety percent of them. He does speak quite fast sometimes. Uh, but it's it's different. It's a nice direction they've taken, and I think they've gone kind of like this with neighbourhoods, and they split off a bit into some little branches of where they want to go. From now now they've gone into so many different branches. They've shown us what they can do and what they can achieve mm. in such a spot, short space of time after neighbourhoods. And I think, you know, with this you've got the rapping side of it, you've got the new Blink side of it, or the new Blink, you've got all Blink roots, you've got Ava and Plus 44 and Boss to Carisa. an extent Boss Carisa, uh, elements coming into it and I think from Pretty Little Girl it's, it's my favourite song because of those reasons and it's just a really good EP overall and Pretty Little Girl finishes it off. Yeah, no, and the, the way they've done all that, they've left it wide open for a massive hype on the next album which I can't wait for. And I bet you can't wait for no, it. I can't wait for it either. I mean, I think some of the uh, Blink fans out there will will uh, agree with me and Ollie here in saying that the next Blink album will have a lot to offer, and it's not living up to expectations as such. It's just saying, well, now we've given you neighbourhoods. That's the direction we're going in. This is dogs eating dogs. This is more of what we we want to give you. And because of the reaction that dogs eating dogs has had, I mean, you know, the EP, not the song. Uh, it's just been such a good reaction that I think a lot of people are looking forward to the new album and should really enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to it. And I agree with Tom DeLong. I remember him saying something like, I think people should really prepare for the proper reunion of Blink-182. Mm. And I feel like something really big, and it's going to be, like, amazing. I cannot wait. I can't wait for it either. But that's our review of Dogs Eating Dogs, guys. Um, obviously, I hope it's a bit shorter than our other reviews, because <laughs> it's only five songs. But... If you like it, guys, give it a thumbs up because we really appreciate it and it lets us know that you like the video. And raises our self esteem. And we know, yes, it makes us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> and it knows that you want to see more as well. So, if you have any suggestions, we've got a few coming up, like the Plus 44 album and a few more Blink albums, like Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, as we've mentioned quite a few times in this video. Uh, but if you have any more other than that, keep leaving them in the comments below. And that's basically it, guys. So, we'll see you all later. And cheers for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.